This is an overview of the Kaltura Media Gallery tool that is used with coursework. Go to your coursework course and then log in with your SunIDVN password. Then go to the course that has Kaltura enabled and click on the Kaltura link to launch it. When you first access Kaltura, there won't be any content in the collections or in the site library. In order to work with Kaltura, what you need to do is upload your content to the site library first. And the site library is essentially uh, just a place that contains all the media that's been uploaded in Kaltura for your course. Once you've uploaded your content, then you can go to Collections, and the collections are essentially folders that allow you to organize information. So let's go ahead and get started with uploading content to the site library. And the Upload New Media button's here. This is a standard way to get content into the system. You have an option for video to upload content from your machine. If you've already uploaded content previously, you will have available in My Content, or you can also record from a webcam. So to upload video, what you want to do is browse on your machine. And we have some video content here. You can select the item, click open, and then click upload. Hit next, you're able to enter information about it. And basically, if you put in information, this will help you find the files later because you can do a search in my content for them. I click Next, and then Finish. And what it's going through right now is uploading the content to the Kaltura system, and it's converting it to a format that can be played in the player. And it will take a few minutes to complete. Okay, so from the site library, we'll see that the file is ready, and if you hit Play, it'll play the video. Welcome to the Academic Technology. You can basically uh, pause it at any point. You can scrub through the content. This information here, download, embed, edit, details, the students won't see this. This is only for instructors. So once the contents of the site library, notice that it says private here. That means that only instructors or anyone with admin access can see these files. So if we go to collections and a new collection and the naming convention would be the year, the month, and then the day. And then if we leave the management to the instructor that means that only uh, people with admin access to the course can modify this folder. Click Save. And so now we've created this collection for uh, July 2nd. If we go to Manage Media Now, we're able to add content from the site library. And to do that, you just click once and it adds it. Notice that you could remove it again if you wanted to, but let's leave this here and click I'm done. And so now you see that the file has been added and it's in the collections, but take a look at this. So if we go back to the main collections page, you can see that content's been added, but it's hidden. Students aren't going to be able to see it. So to make it available to students, what we need to do is go to details and see. And if you needed to modify any of your information about the file, you can do that here. What we want to do is make it public and then click save. Okay, so now you'll see that there's it's no longer private here. And if you go back to the collections, you can see that it's available. And now it's playable within the collection.